But this right here, this showdown right here, this is where I gather nothing but respect for Rock, the prettiest gangster in power, right? Nowhere to go. There's nothing to put in. I mean, she could have, yeah, I mean, it's a glass table, right? You, can, you ain't going to throw the glass table over trying to protect it. No, right. she still hugged ground, turned around, was like, all right, whoever coming through that door, they going to get it. Stood her ground, popped the first dude, numb nuts. I mean, goofball. I mean, whoever <laughs> he is came through the door, popped her in the shoulder. He's like, you should have stayed where you were. And she's like, just do what you got to do, B. If you know what I'm saying? Stop talking trash. Like, right. Like, do take me out and just do it. You know what I'm saying? What you looking at me for? I think he was infatuated. He was like, oh, you look good looking. Too, too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He was looking at it and I was like, bro, are you going to do something? Like, do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you looking at it? Because this is TV, right? <laughs> Got to be suspenseful, right? Ugh. There it is. She's going to get shot. Is she going to do it? Is he going to die? Is she going to die? And then boom, who comes? Pow. Your boy, Neat, comes to the rescue, fam. Listen. Yeah. Listen, I was like, yeah. I'm wondering how did he know where to go? Well, he knew he knows where she lived you know what i'm saying like so so my thinking we could talk about this briefly my thinking is that once they came for him because you know they in new jersey so they came for him first they took out warrell he already told her that they coming for him. so he went over the bridge went through the tunnel did whatever he needed to do because if they came at him first he had to go to rock to make sure she was straight you know what i mean so again it's tv right <laughs> they do but what she they could have that's um, i guess that was just my thought because she could have been at the other house yeah but she, he don't know what that is exactly he don't she, know exactly where that is you know what i'm saying she, but he she just, just happened he was, to be there he in my mind he's like yo i gotta make sure she's straight you know what i'm saying my boy's gone the whole operation is done let me shoot over here to rock i already warned her my thinking is like yo Unique should have been more prepared for that because if they coming for Rock, they coming for him too. You know what I'm saying? Because he's working under Rock. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So why well, would you not be more prepared knowing that he's coming for Rock? He's going to come for every piece of her organization. I think he probably underestimated that conversation with Sal because he, he was trying to not get in it. Mm -hmm. right and he just underestimated that conversation because sal said it like you know i don't handle disappointment well so mm -hmm. you know you're not you're not with me because you're not mm -hmm. giving me the information that i'm asking for so that yeah. automatically means you're against me yeah yeah well again like i was saying like i think he was probably underestimating the timing like he knew that possibly it was going to happen because he's working with rock he's working under rock still but he may not have thought that it was going to happen this soon, this quick. You know mm. what I'm saying? Unique was not aware that we are in episode 10. Like, we're in episode 10, <laughs> Unique. <laughs> you can't just... If you tell her, uh, yo, they coming for you, like, during the day, expect that night it's going to happen. Like, right. It's not going to happen a week from now. There's no other episodes, Unique. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they coming for you. They coming for you. So, I mean, I love this part right here. This is what I noticed. This is what I observed. You know what I mean? And salute to Unique on this because not only is he, of course, he's attracted to her, but he respects her as a boss, right? Mm -hmm. So when he put, you know, when he when he put the dude down, went over to her and put his hand out, you know, he could have easily, you know, been the dude. Let me pick you up. Let me help you up. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me like carry you up. You know what I'm saying? I right. see you like a damsel in distress. Nah, he didn't do it like that. Right. He pulled up. You know, pulled up like that. All right. Yeah. Held the hand, looked in the eyes. He said, "South side." You know what I mean? <laughs> South side. Like it is what it is. Be. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm here for you. South right. side, right? And he's like. He didn't pick up her gun. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, you a soldier, you you a boss just like me. You know what I'm saying? You get your own gun, even though you, <laughs> you gotta pull it in your arm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But he didn't treat her like the damsel in distress. He respected her enough, help her up, get your gun, 
you ready? Let's rock. You know what I'm saying? They're coming for you. Now they're coming for all of us. Yeah. You know what I mean, they looked at each other, gave the head nod. It's like, all right, let's, you ready? You good? You know what I'm saying? Let's go outside. Here comes Howard. Right. <laughs> Queens against everybody. There you go. And Mac, right? It's outside, right? That was, that was the whole point, right? And I think so. Like, honestly, I, I was saying that, Savannah. I was like, yo, they next season, I'm telling you, this the first scene is gonna be Neek and Rock getting busy. <laughs> like, I just want to thank you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for for saving my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bounce with me, bounce. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my so, god. <laughs> uh Queens versus everybody else, no doubt. Um, but yeah, he respects us so much as a soldier, and I, I saluted that because, you know, again, you know, you see every you know, you know all the movies, you know the Disney movies. Like, got the dance with distress, and here comes the hero. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, nah, she still her ground. She got clipped, but he came through. You know what I'm saying? Saved her life, but still respected her as a boss. You know what I mean? Right. How would it Kane and show up? Look at the timing. Yeah, perfect timing. Okay. Hey, fam. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you always for watching, fam. Let me know. Drop your comments below. Was this the perfect ending or nah? Let me know, did you like it, did you not like it? Absolutely, always appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate all the likes, the love, the support. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And we're gonna continue to bring you more content very, very soon. All right, if you appreciate this video, you like this video, you're loving this video, definitely watch this next one right here. Until next time, salute.